Okay, on our way to find out where this sniper is, I can also have a look around the surrounding areas to where I was. What is this Sunnyside theme park? Oh, maybe I can find some other quests to do, right? I mean, with that save, Omar, was that worth going into? I didn't search that either. I just found that as a place to fast travel to, right? From the place I was at before. Might be worth going in there afterwards. Let's have a look in this place first. I don't think I'd have enough fuel anyway to get to the bank. It's like in the middle of town, right? I have put the Just Assorted mods back on too. So you can see where I need to go. It's like 2,000 sand feet away, right? So there must be so much stuff in between there to look around in. So we can sort of make our way over to that, but probably do a few things beforehand, like being in here. Maybe you can go in here. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some tickets for a ride. Anything in here? Oh, what was that? Oh, Caesar. fuck. <laughs> Is he really, you know, bald? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Okay, what we got? Anything good? What's this? Still here. Wasn't able to get as much salvage as I wanted the last time, so I brought Gwen with me to pick the place clean. Turns out that spider from before was still here, and wouldn't you know, Gwen just happened to be arachnophobic. Oh my god. I mean, I'm not particularly fond of them either. Gwen pulled out her gun and the spider shot a web into her eyes. It took hours to get that crap off of her face, and I'm fairly certain I now owe her a favour. Can't really blame the spider, though. Poor thing was just defending itself. I left a bit of food behind as an apology. I hope spiders enjoy eating rad roaches. Okay, so there's a spider in here. Cool. Hopefully not anywhere in this building, though, because there's nothing on my map. What was that noise? Was that the dino toy? What was making that noise just then? Oh my god, that's worth 300. Yeah, I'll take that. I see that look, I can see things, right? Without having to open them. That's such a major life improvement. This mod is so good. What have we got here? Strange encounter. This guy's dead, obviously. Locals really hyped this place up, said it was haunted. So I was expecting some kind of mutant. Well, I guess I did find one. She's a spider, okay. But she doesn't look like any of the other ones I've ever seen. She also didn't attack me, if anything. She ran away. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a friendly spider. But it shot the other person. I think it said they attacked it, though, right? Probably best not to whip out a gun then, but I'm scared, so. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, there's a person here. Oh? Oh, oh, oh my God. T fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, it looks friendly enough, sure. You can just barely hear the sound of tiny legs scratching. Oh, suddenly you feel something creeping up behind you. Poised for the kill, you turn around to confront your assailant to find a large eye or saw looking power spider. Skitters. Okay, well, it seems friendly. There was a note to say it was friendly, and it only fired when provoked, right? I think it said. It obviously sees me. <laughs> We're just going to stay perfectly still. <laughs> bit like Drax from uh, the Guardians. The spider looks confused. The spider slinks away, afraid. Now that you have a better look at it, you can see that there's some kind of collar around its head. Will you allow me to examine? Please don't jump at the screen. The tag on the collar says Skitters. The cute name, all things considered. Oh, it's a name tag. Motion to the bodies. Did you do this? Did you do this? She pretends not have heard the question. <laughs> okay. Don't you have a handler to stop you from scaring people? No. Okay. Don't have an owner. Do you know where they are? No. Okay. I could maybe help you find them. Would you like that? Okay. Just don't eat me? Let's get this as your companion. Okay, quest added. Miss Gitters, as a companion, you gain her mass arachnophobia perk. What does that mean? Search the theme park for information about Skitters owner. Okay. How do you move? Oh, okay. I'm going to have to get some getting used to. I don't like that. <laughs> I can see them making me jump in the future. Uh, search for the owner. Sure. And this perk. Enemies are more likely to attack the spider than me. Okay. Can I loot this guy? No. Okay. Let's go find your owner. Or what's happened to them. I hope there's no more spiders, please. 
It's not going to be like spider versus spiders, is it? Uh, there is stuff in here. <laughs> These guys, I still think my companions are leaving straight away. What is this? Wolves. Oh, okay. If it's melee, I'll probably swap actually to the lance. And I don't actually need to open my bag to do that anymore, right? It's probably my weapon wheel. Where is it? Spear of Destiny. Do you think wolves are also scared of spiders and they will attack skitters first? Hello. Gwen's gift. Gwen came over a few days ago. Kind of surprised, considering how she and Skitters got along last time. Okay, maybe this is the owner. Or didn't, as the case may be. We chatted for the better part of an afternoon. Got caught up. Salvage is getting pretty bad where Gwen's at. And the war isn't making things any easier. She said it like it was only an inconvenience, but I could see it was worse than that. She was gaunt, tired. I don't think she slept in days. Before she left, she gave me... A little something, a collar for Skitters, said she found it at an old vet. Skitters seems to really like the gift. Maybe I could convince Gwen to stay with us, at least for a little while. Okay. Who is this man? Or woman? Writing these notes. Come on. Come here. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. You can see me, right? Stairs in his ground. Come on, you bastards. Oh, he's baiting me. <laughs> Why? Why is he baiting me? What the hell is that? He's flinging shit at them. Keep doing that. I was just seeing if there's anything over here. Any more notes? Yeah, there is. Am I in battle? Sort of. I don't know what they're up to, those walls. Given is good. Was passing through the area and saw that the red roach meter left was gone. Left another piece, because why not? It's not like I can sell the meat. Okay, then maybe this is the person that was feeding skitters. I'll go in there. Hello. All right, I was getting these like pack friends, right? Sure. Oh, there's more. Hey, you bastard! Come here. Oh, nice. All right, can I loot in peace now? Look around this room that goes outside. Space suit helmet, space suit, kissing head. So I'll make out with the dummy. Oops. Oh, missing head. Sure. Okay, seriously, who the hell took the head of the female mannequin? Maybe they did use it to guess. This is a goddamn children's theme park. Why the hell would you take her head off? Now we have to just set the helmet next to the thing. Whoever did this, I'll see to it personally that you get fired. Is this a note from before times? Before the bombs? Oh, Skitter's history. I've always been curious about where Skitters came from. I haven't seen any other spider like her in all my years scavenging. And no matter how hard I look, I still can't find any spiders that look like her. Asking around doesn't help much, if at all. People have more important things to be worried about than the law of my pet spider. Unless Skitters suddenly grows vocal calls, I doubt I'm ever going to find out how she got here. So I came up with a few theories. Theory 1, Skitters is the last surviving member of an alien race sent here by her parents, unlikely. Theory 2, she's some pre-war experiment. This is most likely theory, probably. Probably Dr. Boris, right? Theory 3, Skitters is just a fragment of my imagination. Nope, unless we're sharing imaginations. Theory 4, Skitters is actually three mole rats in a spider suit. Theory 5, Skitters is... Okay, let's move on with the quest marker. Unless there's anything in the kitchen. Yeah, there's quite a few things here. Okay, what the hell is a burger in a tin? No, I don't want that. Take red roaches, red roaches, and yet more red roaches. Yeah, this is feeding him, right? Or her. I'm not going to pretend I'm an expert on spider biology or any biology for that matter. But I'm getting a bit worried about Skitters' diet. All she eats is red roaches. I've tried making her mac and cheese, giving her a sugar bomb, but she refuses to eat it. And if she does, she typically just ends up vomiting it on my feet. I'm not surprised. I guess she seems healthy enough, but what happens when the red roaches run out? Never mind. I just found a radio corpse with her face covered in spider bites. Skitters will be just fine. Maybe it likes radiation, right? My little helper, Skitters, has been following me out on salvage runs for a while now, so I figured I'd whip up something to make her useful. Called on my dad's lessons to sew her up a backpack, big enough to carry valuable stuff, but light enough not to crush her. Thought she'd freak out, but she was practically jumping with joy. She likes being helpful. Is there anything in this bag? 
Anything in your bag already? How do I do that with this? Open inventory. There's nothing in there. That's quite handy though. It's like a fucking um, color of magic, right? Terry Pratchett walking suitcase. What the fuck is this stuff? Ugh. Right. I think that's all there is to see in this room. Let's move on to the Space Dome. This is a ride. It's like Space Mountain. Oh, hello, Legionnaires. <laughs> Die for Caesar. Should we be Die killing the wolves? Aren't they like um, a mascot? What is in here? They're not hugely aggressive. Is there anything in this room? Why did they make me come in here? There's nothing here. Oh my god, okay. Reading a lot here. There's loads of notes. Relics. Found some skeletons while searching the closet for supplies. Skeletons in the closet. Yep, yeah, very creative. The skeletons were small. Kids looked like the park stuff. Funneled them in here when the bombs dropped and then just didn't take them out. Fucking sucks. Where are those skeletons? Ugh. Outer science. It's hard to see the stars at night without getting frostbite, but Skitters found the next best thing. I guess that for some reason, people in the back when times really liked looking at the stars. Skitters is like an observatory. Imagine having so little to worry about that you could just waste a day looking at some white lines on walls. That's the life. Skitter seems to like it at least. Do you like it in here? I mean, it's just a planet, right? I guess it, there's like a computer that changes that. Howling in the night, he's about the wolves, I guess. Skitters came back with a couple of cuts around her thorax. Looks like she got in a scrape with the wolves again. I don't know what it is about this place that attracts those wolves, but they're getting to be a real problem. Skitters is a tough old girl, but even she can't handle half a dozen wolves rushing her down. More the reason to get out of here. The war? Things are getting bad out there, really bad. Superpowers from down south are fighting over land here in Portland and scavs are getting caught in the crossfire. Me and Skitters are pretty far from the fighting, but at the rate they're going, they won't stay truthful. Okay. I'm not sure why it's taking me in here, to be honest. Does this not just go back to where I was? No. I know a man who died from a shot to the leg. Okay. So how did you live through a shot to the head? Ugh. What is all this? Oh, what is all this? Anything hiding in the corners? Maybe that's the wolves' is like den, this place. Okay. Let me let me arouse. The plan. Oh, Dutch was here. We can't stay here. We just can't. Salvage is running dry. The wolves are getting closer. And that fucking war is tearing the place apart. To get out, we're going to need caps. And a lot of them. Luckily, I have a plan. Mm-hmm. Does it involve Tahiti? Heard a tip about one last big score of salvage cave near Vault 6. Oh, no, that's where all the spiders are. Most people stay away because it's full of spiders, but if I can get skitters on my side, maybe I can... Com I can convince the other spiders? Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, I know, this is a dumb idea. That's the best I got. I mean, they, they didn't take skitters with them, though. I left all the rad roaches I could find for skitters to keep her fed for at least a month, just in case. So, what, they went without the spider to try diplomacy with the spiders? Is that where I'm going to have to go? Oh, I don't want to go back there. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> I've also left my car behind in that amusement park as a FYI, if I ever forget. Please remind me. I didn't have much fuel, though, and it seemed pretty useless. There's no guns on it, right? So I don't really care if I leave that behind, to be honest with you. Right. Who is that? Militiamen? Can I avoid them? Seem easy to kill, but... Save ammo. They are coming this way. Man, everyone just sees me. Got like massive... Perception. Yeah, hold breath was jam. Okay. It's nice. Oh, there's a few of these guys. Why did my vats not instantly work there? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? What was that? Ow. Ow. 
Hello? Okay. You have gained a lot of death per. This is like buffs against humanoids, isn't it? I think. Is there like a friendly here? Who's that? Oh. A flamer probably would be handy right now, right? It's these spiders. Cave. It's just cave. You have discovered cave, sure. <laughs> the NCR rely too much on technology. Hey, you guys scared of spiders, we'll yeah. Don't it. blame you. They're fucking hostile. Can you go talk to them? Talk to them. Go talk to them. The remains of red roach in her mouth. You've eaten a red roach. You reluctantly take the red roach meat from her. Ah, food. Thank you. Um. And pet you. Can't talk about you um, doing any diplomacy, I guess, with the other spiders. You like being pet, sure. Sure. All right. Hello. That's not a spider. What is that? Oh, it's those octopus things. Okay. Okay, venture further down. 121 feet away is Miguel. Okay, that's your owner, is it? Okay, yep, yeah, first of the spiders. Oh. I think there is a, a mod for this for arachnophobic people to turn off the spiders. I'm not arachnophobic, but I, I don't like them. You know, I'm not like scared. As in, I'm going to like just not play it. You know, like I mean, if I see spiders in my room, they're fine. I normally leave them be, unless they're really big. <laughs> no, I don't like the big ones. <laughs> I don't like the big ones. They're like the house spiders. They're, they're, they're big for me. No, not in Australia. You get like huntsman. Like so size of your palm, sort of size. Some sort of the biggest you get here. Where's over here? Bored? You're bored? Echo, echo, echo. Maybe he got trapped. There's only half of his body here, right? Maybe his other legs are under the stone rocks. I think third person might actually be a little better. <laughs> Makes me feel less up front with the spiders. Okay, there's one there. Damn it. Third person uh, cameras are very handy when they're mixed with first person. It adds a nice natural transition for me to cut to. If you question to why I use it frequently, that is why. That's the massive room I was in before. I think that is where I need to go. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, maybe I can shoot them from up here. i will be okay. <sighs> Or at least whittle down the numbers. Can they climb? Can they climb? I don't think so. I think they're actually walking around some of those, right? Okay, do I have something that has like splash damage? I'd maybe throw some grenades. Pipe bomb. Is there anything there? Yeah, there's loads of little small ones, right? Oh, that's really good. I think some are walking up to me though from like around the corner. Yeah, it's just, like little tiny things near. Okay, is that cleaned out most of them? Sure. All right, be, be ready, skitters. I think they're gonna come around the corner. Okay, yeah, there's some stuff here. Is it just you? Is it just you to making your way around? Is it? I may have already got rid of some of the big ones from here last time, right? There's definitely bigger ones than the ones that I just shot in that room. <laughs> I'm out of caution, why? Why am I out of caution? Why am I out of caution? Maybe one gonna come down from the ceiling, is it? Oh, more coming. <laughs> Nice. 
I said, I'm doing more damage to these guys too right than last time. Last time they were really thick damage, right? Threshold. I guess maybe they're more susceptible to energy. And this gun is actually pretty nuts. But I did actually already receive this gun, right? At that point? No, I didn't. No, no, that wasn't from the vault, was it? That was from underneath the town. I got this gun. Murdered the guy who, who had it. <laughs> okay, there is still more in here. Is there? Okay. <sighs> One more. That little bastard survived. Still more. Okay, I think maybe we're good in that room now. Should we just drop down? Oh. Okay, let's just drop down. Please, please, no. No, I'm spamming. I'm spamming. Okay, so the big spiders come down. I bet you I pick something up from that guy, right? It's going to spawn them. Like, where are all the big ones? I don't like it. I'm going to third person. <laughs> Please protect me. You must have to talk to them at some point, right? I bet there is some massive one that comes down. Right. Okay, this is their owner. I'm confused why he came here without them. Skitters recalls in horror as you come upon the body. I'm sorry. Sad, Skittering. Yeah. Give them some space. Would you like to mourn? Are you going to eat them? Skitter calls up to the body and cuddles in the cold arms of her former master. She does this for a while before returning to your side. Okay. She looks up at you, it seems she's expecting you to say something. <laughs> Uh, I guess they want to come with me. You know, maybe you aren't so bad for a six-eyed monster. And comfortable skittering. Okay, that's the quest complete. Okay, we actually got a proper companion. You and skitters have grown closer. Her base health has been increased. Good spider. So what was the? But why did there was there note saying to talk to them, using the spider? Activate poor bastard. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> do I want to do that? Goodbye, Skitters. Should we leave th read the notes? I'm done. The spiders are only leaving me alone now because they know I'm done. The poison in my veins is paralyzing me. Oh, yeah, the poisonous. It's taking everything just to write the stupid notes. Looks like I won't make it back after all. And Skitters will be trapped in that theme park all alone again. I wonder if she'll remember me. I think I heard somewhere that spiders don't remember things for that long. Maybe that's a good thing. Then she won't be sad and she'll be able to move on with her life. And maybe, just maybe, she'll find her own way out of this hellhole and she'll see the stars. Even if she sees them without remembering me. That would be good enough. Oh. Okay, mate, let's, uh, let's not activate that. I, I, <laughs> do I want to activate it? What does the note say? On my own. Uh, the spiders are mutants in the cave are avoiding me. I thought I was just unseen at first, but I saw a paralegia stare right at me and then run the other way. They're scared of me, and to be honest, I'm starting to feel the same way. Do I have any anti-venom? I've got one. Let's reactivate this. Oh. They're still alive. They're still alive. Uh... Got any like flames? Not shooting them. Oh. <laughs> Why did I think that was a good idea? I thought the weapon was somehow like ultra strong. <laughs> Alright, mate, let's get out of here. I think. There's probably nothing to explore, right? I probably found things to explore the other way, right? Because I came through this way. I went I came to this room, right? From the other way that I'd already explored. So let's just leave. And never come back. Uh, I'm going to go back to where we were. Not because my truck is there, which is a good reason to go back, I guess. But because of the supermarket place. You don't want to talk. I didn't to look you. inside there, right? So I'd like to look in there. Oh, so is it actually a supermarket? There's slaves here working at the cashiers. Is there? <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir and or madam. My name is Brian. Welcome to Save Omart. Please do not hesitate to ask me 
or any of my fellow associates for assistance. Our manager is in the back if you have any issues that require his attention. Thank you for shopping at Savo Mart. We put a smile on your face and in your wallet. Do you actually sell stuff? The shelves look very bare behind you. What's with the minimum wage role play routine? Yeah, what's with the friendly, have a nice day attitude? Do you get many customers? The manager is a fan of old world commerce. He finds all of this quaint. Okay. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the cash register. You're a bit miserable. Uh, you have no idea. When I got enslaved, I at least thought I'd be doing something productive. But no. <laughs> all we do is stack the shelves. Then we do it again, and then we do it again. Over and over. Every single day. We are losing our minds. Being here is worse than any torture the Legate could come up with. Oh, you're bored, are you? Honestly, his face does not look that bad, right? For not having any graphic enhancing mods. I get, I'm i guessing the Frontier must just automatically have some, right? That's horrible. I wish I could do something for you. I just made a joke. Didn't need your life story. I didn't ask for any lip wage slave back to work. <laughs> Well, it actually sounds like maybe I could do something for him, possibly, to make his day more entertaining. Is this like a quest? Well, actually, he didn't hear this from me. But Spartacus, our boss, is getting sick of us. He wants to replace us with a robot he found in the back. But the robot's broken, and no one here knows how to fix it. You get that thing up and running, and he'll get rid of us. Do I care? <laughs> you are slaves. Why would I help the slaves? Doesn't sound too promising. I could just free you. No, I'm gonna do that. I'll think about it. Please help us. Save you money. <laughs> you clearly have a very important role here, mate. Did there, was there no quest for that? Okay, maybe I have to say something else. Hello, sir Andrew. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Uh, now, what can I do for you, sir Andrew, madam? No? Okay, oh yeah, there is a quest. Okay, shop till you drop. Speak to Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. The lady in the place, Delilah, actually mentioned Spartacus's shop, right? So this is what this is. We did up there, mate. Did you be up there? Are you shopping? You're stacking shells? You don't actually have a slave collar on. Why don't you have a slave collar? Or you? Some of you don't have collars. Is it only like prioritized for certain people? Mate, the shells are fucking bare. What are you stacking? <laughs> oh, what's that? Specimen can take. Ugh. I'll take that. Sperm in a jar. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to the manager. Oh, he's coming to me. Hello. Who the devil are you? I made it clear to the guards that I was not to be disturbed. Especially by a wasteland stray. Excuse me, I'm at PC name. What? <laughs> I'm Winkle, I think that's meant to say. Seems like some sort of code is messed up there. I'm part of the Legion, you knobhead. Hmm, not ringing a bell. Do you know everyone in the Legion? I'm the courier of the Mojave. Maybe you've heard of me? Courier. Courier. Oh, right. Resnir did mention something about a dolled up mailman. He's not wrong. Welcome to my castle, courier. As per the legate's orders, you're free to take whatever you need from the shelves. There's nothing on the shelves. Do try to keep things orderly, however. I take pride in my arrangement. I didn't see any sugar bombs on the shelves. Where are your sugar bombs? You noticed that, eh? I'm afraid sugar bombs are my one weakness. Once I see a box, ooh, nothing can stop me from quickly pouring the contents into my mouth. And then crying about it later. <laughs> Naturally, this has led to a critical shortage. If by chance you come across another box, oh. give it to me, and I will reward you handsomely. Do I have any? I don't think so. This looks like a, one of those sort of like task quests, right, maybe? Like, uh, go find me NCR dog tags, right? This guy wants uh, sugar bombs. Yeah, you don't really seem like a legionnaire. You look like you're wearing a Bob the Builder hat. 
And you don't seem like you're worth my time. And yet, here we are. Bit miserable. You seem to really like supermarkets. Bit of a supermarket nerd? I suppose I am. Something draws me to the form and function of the supermarket. The optimism, the presentation, the forced friendliness. Why would anyone like that? <sighs> Traits of a better time. Traits I work to replicate. Oh no, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, one thing I disliked about when I went to America was all the false friendliness. No, I don't like it. Sure, be friendly. Just be naturally friendly, right? It's just so put on. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like it. I'd rather they be miserable <laughs> than uh, be forced to be friendly. It's just so like disconcerting, right? It's not have like a smile on their face, but then their eyes are not smiling. It's like staring into your soul. Yeah, no, I don't like that. The slaves don't seem to like being slaves. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a controversial opinion. Yes. And they're my employees. Their happiness is secondary to the customers and tertiary to my own. Yeah, but I mean, this isn't a normal employer employee situation, is it? You know? Who cares? What is it you're trying to repair a robot to replace them, though? There my staff goes spreading rumors again. You'd think they'd learn after I flayed the last guy alive. Well, the rumors are true. I am attempting to repair a robot, but he's not just any robot, I assure you. He is the incredible, the magnificent Stacko, a pre-war prototype designed specifically to work the aisles. Once he is operational, my arrangements will be perfect and I can junk those layabouts outside. Yeah, honestly, it sounds more efficient. Why do we need all those slaves? There's no one in here. Does it just get busy at the weekends or something? Yeah, it sounds great. Can I fix it? Can I help? Before the Legion brought order to the city, some rapscallions broke in and made off with some of Stacco's parts. The poor things simply can't function without them. I've sent scouts to find me the parts, but no luck. Okay. Hmm. Since you've taken an interest, Perhaps you could recover them? Sure, yeah. Increased efficiency, we can send the slave somewhere else. I could try fixing it myself, I do have a good repair skill. Oh, I would be very impressed if you could pull that off. Still, here's a list of the parts, just in case your skills prove insufficient. I mean, I say good, I think it's at 50, it might not be good enough. I'm gonna see what the parts are. What, what is it you would want? Uh, alright. Would it, if I was to find them, would they be labelled on the map? No. Okay. That's annoying. <laughs> sure. You didn't get any of those in the store, have you? I think I saw some scrap. Metal and electronics. Any notes? Notes, 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 notes. Like, what are these guys doing? Huh? Pretending to be busy. Pretending to be fancy, like, board members. Keep him company. It's like a Mr. Handy in the corner, right? It's to um, fix that. Okay. All right. Let's see what skill I need. Yeah, your, or your voice isn't working either. Oh, only 30? Oh, thank you. Thank God for that. Hums to life. Nice. Easy. Done. Happy? Yes? What do you need? What do I need? Be a bit more grateful. I, I repaired your robot. Please let me say that. Okay, good. Well done. Well done. Look at him. A retail demigod in physical form. Oh, <laughs> finally. My shelves will be perfect. Also, I can lay everyone else off. Click. Click. And with that, all those useless employees are dead. Now I don't have to worry about them getting in Stacco's way. You're going to kill them? Thanks again. That seems wasteful. And actually, I don't think uh, the Legate likes that, right? Someone tried ordering a slave before, but they said no because they killed them. I don't think the Legate likes wastefulness. Have you already killed them? Well... Yes. Now that I have Stacko, I simply don't need them anymore. Besides, I didn't kill all of them. Brian's still alive. <laughs> I'm sure he's elated. This is a waste of resources. I guess he's higher up than me, though. Right? I'm calling him my liege. Okay. Can I go? I'm not. I'm not licking your bum, hole. Yes. Do go. But know that you will always be welcome in my Savo Mart. Sure. 
You should have handed them off to someone else, mate. That's a big waste of resources. Okay, what do I want? Um, could just uh, either go melee or energy. Because that's what I was used, right? I think possibly one of those two things. Either that or lockpick could increase. Oh. Because I haven't used an energy gun though, right? Yeah. Try and get that max. How may I serve you, master? Oh, they just exploded. Some of them didn't have collars on, though. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get a perk, do I? Because I don't have more perks on. It's kind of annoying. Because I do actually... I am actually owed some, right? Because I've fast tracked up a level. Probably missed out on some perks. Hello. Can I talk to you? See you around. Okay. <laughs> cool. I really like these Legion quests. These are so much better than the main game run, right? Yeah, see, look, they had some, like, scrap in the store. Probably could have made it from all that, I guess. There probably would have been enough in here. I would have hoped. Right, but I'm glad I could repair it, because that would have been a massive ball ache. Let's get out of here and uh, see where to go to next. I could head towards the sniper at the bank. Let's see what's in between. Should we talk to Brian before we leave? I'm alive! Somehow I'm the only one who survived. The only one still stuck here. Yeah, even though you're the only one that has a collar ranch neck, what do you actually sell? Amazing deals coming right up. Just junk. Some aid. Yeah, it's just junk. Look at all this misc. Yeah, it's all crap. All things you could craft with, I guess, which I never do in this game, to be honest with you. Let's see if I have anything to sell and then we can leave. Come back soon for exciting new deals here at Save Omart. Save Omart. We put a smile on your face and in your wallet. Yeah, you definitely did. It gave me 4k worth of stuff I sold. Amazing. Let's go. Stay classy, new base.